Hi, I'm David Whalen. Thanks for watching. Would you like to know what the pH of your body is? Well, hang out for a couple seconds and I'll show you how to find out. In order to get a gauge of what the pH of your body is, you're going to test your urine first and your saliva second. But before I talk about how to test, I want to first talk about the testing device itself. You have two different options. You can use pH paper or litmus paper, or you can use pH test strips. Now, pH paper comes on rolls like this, kind of retro, and I don't recommend using it for a few reasons. First of all, it's just kind of hard and clunky to use. Um, it's not the most accurate, but when you're testing your urine, you're going to want to try to pass this through your urine stream. Well, being paper, it can, you know, tends to wilt, get droopy, and then when you get it wet, it bleeds. The, the reagent bleeds. And so now you're trying to match up a bleeding piece of paper to a chart. Not the easiest. pH strips, on the other hand, are a plastic strip with a reagent affixed to it. Very easy to pass through the urine stream and when you get it wet, very easy to read. There's no bleeding and no mess. And you can find pH sticks at a health store, you can get them at pH Ion, Amazon, Yahoo, pretty much everywhere. Now once you've tested your pH per the instructions in the packet, you're going to fall into one of three different zones. The optimal zone is right where you want to be. Okay? The acidic zone means that your fluids are about 10 times more acidic than they should be. You're going to want to correct this soon before you get even more acidic. And that's going to bring you into the very acidic zone. In this zone, your fluids are 100 times to acidic, possibly even more. If you're in this zone, you should strongly consider taking immediate action to correct your acidic state. And I always recommend to people who are very acidic to go on to the complete pH balancing program. One last thing about pH testing. I recommend that you do it daily and you do it often. Of course, in the morning when you take that reading, it's very indicative of your body's overall pH, but it's also a good idea to see how you're metabolizing different meals. For example, if you eat a steak, you're going to want to test an hour or two after to see how your body's responding and if your body has the alkaline buffers to deal with the acid load. Hey, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, stay vibrant, healthy, and well.